What's up everyone, welcome to the club and thanks for joining me for today's drawing tutorial. In this lesson, I'll show you step by step on how to draw Super Mario. For today's lesson, I'll be drawing with the Sharpie fine point marker. Let's start in the center of head and draw an oval for the nose. So start right in the middle, in the top, go all the way around towards the left side, and then bring that in towards the middle, go all the way around the right side, and then back up towards the top. Now you want to tuck the eyes in behind the nose. Let's leave a gap in the center. We're going to start over on the left side and draw a curve going all the way around towards the top. Come down the side and then just tuck that in towards the side of the nose. Let's do the same thing on the right. Going all the way up towards the top of the eye. Come around the side and then back in. Now we're going to push the iris and pupil towards the inside of the eye. Let's start on the left and draw a circle going all the way around. And then we'll tuck that in towards the side, line this up on the right, and do the same thing. Let's add a small highlight circle on the top left side of each eye. So I'm just going to bring this in and then back out. Let's draw a smaller circle in the center of the eye for the pupil. Now we're going to go underneath the highlight, go all the way around, and then back out. Now with the eyes and nose in place, we're going to tuck the mustache in underneath. Let's start from the left side of the nose. I'm just going to curve this out and then up towards the side. Line that up on the right. Now we want to draw four small half circles along the bottom of the mustache. Let's start over on the left. Curve around and just pull that back in towards the side. Now we're going to add two more in the center. Let's start back on the left. We're going to come down. Just pull that up in the middle, just underneath the nose. Come down, and then back up. Now you want to draw the lower half of the head. From this point, we're going to step up. It's going to curve the cheek, going around. Pull this down and in towards the middle. And I want to go all the way across towards the right side. Round up the cheek, and then we'll pull that in. Let's round up the side of the head. Starting back on the left, curve out, and then back in around the eyes. Now from here, we place the hat on top of the head. From this point, we're going to step out and curve the hat going up in the middle, go across, bring that over towards the right, and then back down. Now we place the eyebrow in between the hat and the eyes. So start over on the left, curve this up towards the hat back down on the inside and do the same thing over on the right. Now let's pull the eyebrows up underneath the hat on the left and right and then we'll fill the eyebrows in black. Now I'm going to go back to the outside of the hat, curve the hair coming down and then in on top of the cheeks. Let's add the ears. From this top point, we're going to step down, curve the ear going up, round up the ear, and then pull that in towards the side of the cheek. Let's add a fold along the top of the ear. Starting on the side of the head, curve this up and then out. Now let's move back up and draw the top edge of the hat brim. In between the side of the head and the inside of the hairline, start right here, curve this up in the middle, Round this out, go across, and then back down. Now we want to draw the outside of the hat. We start from this point. We start by curving this out, then this up and in. Now we're going to go a little bit higher in the middle, up towards the top of the hat. Let's round this out, go across towards the right, come down, and then pull that back in. Let's add that symbol in the center of the hat. Starting from the top, we're going to draw a circle. Going all the way around, come down, and then back up. Let's draw that N in the center of that circle. From the top, we're going to come down and then up like a V. From the ends, come down and out with an angled line. 
flatten off the bottom with an angle line coming down and in. Let's work our way along the inside of the amp. We'll go up along the side and bring that down towards the middle. Now I'm going to move down and draw on the body. Let's start with those straps. We're going to start on the left side of the head, for the strap going out and then down. Go all the way over towards the right and do the same thing. And then from the bottom of the strap, we're going to add a V. Come down and then up. Let's follow that same curve going up underneath the head. And then along the bottom of the strap, we'll add a circle for the buttons. Let's go in between the straps and draw a straight line. Now I'm going to follow this line towards the outside of the strap. We're going to curve the body going out and then back in towards the hips. In between the hips, let's move to the center, step down at a curve, going up and then down. And then we'll leave a small gap in the center, go to the left side, curve the leg going out and then down towards the left heel. Move over towards the right, go out and down towards the right heel. Now let's round out the bottom of the feet. We're gonna start from the left heel, curve the foot, coming down and then up towards the outside. Let's go back over towards the left and draw the top of the foot. We're gonna start by going up, round out the foot and bend this down aiming towards the heel. And we'll bend that back up towards the inside of the leg. Now I'm going to go back up to the hips and draw the outside of the leg, curving this out and then down on top of the feet. Let's add a thick sole on the bottom of the feet. We'll take this curve, step up, and just trace that across on both sides. Now I'm going to go back up to the top and draw on the arms. Let's start with the inside edge. We're going to start from the side of the body, curve the arm going out and then down towards the wrist. Line this up on the right, going out and then down. Let's go back to the left side and draw on the thumb. From the wrist, we'll draw a half circle coming in and then out. And we'll close off the end with a bracket. Let's go underneath the thumb and draw the first finger. We're going to come down and bend this up around that bracket. Now we're going to stack two more fingers on either side. Let's start from the bottom, put this down, and then bend that up. And then the third finger, we're just going to go all the way around and just pull that in towards the outside of the wrist. Now from the outside of the wrist, we're going to bend the arm, going up, and then curve that in underneath the head. Let's connect the wrist with the curve, going up and then down. And we'll step up and draw that same curve for the top edge of the glove. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw Super Mario. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your request in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.